Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and before I begin on actually doing this review, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, I almost forgot that I had to do this review. The only reason I remember doing this review is because I saw a video on YouTube, or at least like the thumbnail and the title, um, on YouTube about someone doing this review. So yeah. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna be reviewing, if you haven't read the title yet. I'm going to be reviewing Teen Titans Go, episode 40 of season 3, TTG versus PPG. What does that mean? That ba What does that mean? Teen Titans Go versus the Powerpuff Girls. So basically you have the new Teen Titans Go TV show versus the new Powerpuff Girls TV show that they have in Cartoon Network. So, yeah. Before I begin though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch this video. Um, Video or who have yet to actually watch who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already um, Stop the video go check it out and come back and watch the rest of the rest of this review 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual starting now Okay, so 10 seconds are up so for those who have yet to actually watch this episode and haven't already please don't comment down below or be messaging me that never gave you a fair warning as usual I did so, yeah, now, before I, I begin on actually doing all the synopsis, selects, and districts, and the rates, I'm going to start off by saying this, I'm, I am wouldn't say I'm a fan of the Teen Titans Go TV show, I know there's a lot, I know there's a lot, a lot, a lot of hate on the Teen Titans Go TV series, but me, I don't really mind it, like, to be honest, sometimes I watch it, uh, because just for shits and giggles. So okay, I mean, I mean, honestly, I just really don't mind. I, I kind of like it to be honest. It's like cute, I suppose. You know, it's kind of funny and cute. Um, is it as good as the original? Hell no, hell no. Um, but you know, it's like fun, I suppose. You know, it's like fun. You know, if there, like if there's nothing else to watch, yeah, I'd sure I'd go watch Teen Titans Go. As for the new Powerpuff Girls show. To be fair, I never even watched the original Powerpuff Girls show, so I barely even gave a shit about the new one. And I did watch a couple episodes of the of the new Powerpuff Girls show. And it looks okay. Um, I just don't really care because I never really got into the original Powerpuff Girls TV show. So, yeah. So what do the what do we have here? The Teen Titans versus the Powerpuff Girls. Um. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened here. Um, I feel like Teen Titans dropped the fucking bomb. I feel like any, like most every single versus matchup this year has dropped the fucking bomb somehow. Bat and DC did it twice this year, so congratulations. Um, let's see the o yeah, really the only versus matchup that I've reviewed this year, I think that actually went well was the one that TMNT did. Um, yeah, the the new TMNT versus the 1980s TMNT. I think that's the only good one that we I've had this uh, this year. Civil War is a close second. Um, there, I have issues with Civil War, but yeah, um, like I know the writing for the te for Teen Titans Go in general is somewhat idiotic. Okay, but okay, I, like, I already know that much. Okay, but uh, as I said before, I like okay, I don't really mind it. Here, I mind it. It's it's. It goes past a certain point of idiotcy, and there are a few episodes where I feel like that's too stupid, that's way too, like, that's way too idiotic, and this is one of those episodes, in my opinion, that's just way too idiotic. Again, as someone who actually likes the show, who doesn't completely hate the Teen Titans Go TV show, um, I do recognize that there are some episodes that are way too idiotic from a writing standpoint, and this is one of those that are just, that's just way too idiotic. First off, you have Mojo Jojo. So the plot is you have Mojo Jojo, um, and you have the Powerpuff Girls and the Teen Titans, and they're from like different dimensions. Mojo Jojo goes into the Teen Titans dimension, and the Powerpuff Girls follow suit. Um, Mojo Jojo um, bef befriends Cyborg and Beast Boy, and he basically wants to go make a monkey army to destroy and take over all of the world, or or whatever, or Jump City because that's where the Teen Titans are. Um, the Powerpuff Girls then, um, then have kind of this face-off between Robin, Raven, and Starfire on who's the better team, and it's just stupid. First off, why why would Beast Boy and Cyborg be impressed with a green talking monkey when Beast Boy can literally turn into a green talking monkey? Okay, but that's okay, but whatever. But then you have like this stupid competition bullshit between um, the remaining Teen Titans and the Powerpuff Girls. It just made no sense. Like. 
you know, they're like really the, their only joke was the fact that they look like babies, which yeah, I guess the Powerpuff Girls do look like babies. But that's like the easiest joke in the book for the Powerpuff Girls. Like you guys are like what three, like a bunch of three foot little girls who like what. 10 years old tops like of course you guys look like a bunch of fucking babies okay um so yeah, i mean it was just again that's the point i'm talking about idiocy the animation i don't mind the animation so you know fuck it um the voice acting is good i suppose you know um but i don't think i don't and i may be mistaken here so, um correct me if i'm wrong but I, I don't think that's the original um voice cast from powerpuff girls um if you know what i mean like I don't think, like, I, here, I don't think the Powerpuff Girls TV show, the, the reboot, I don't think they got the original Powerpuff Girl vo um, voice actresses from, like, 10 years ago, or 15 years ago, or however long ago was it, before they canceled the original Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls, and I guess they sound good, but they don't sound like Powerpuff Girls, like, even, I'm not a fan of the Powerpuff Girls, and I really don't care, but I, I know my Powerpuff Girl voices, the original ones, and they don't sound the same, I may be mistaken, but it, it just sounds different, the Powerpuff Girls just sound different, in my opinion, so, that may just be me, uh, again, what I'm saying is that I don't think those are the original voice actresses and actors from the original Powerpuff Girls TV show from like 10 or 15 years ago, I may be mistaken, but for me, that that's, they just sound kind of different, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, and really, it was like 10 minutes long, this whole episode was maybe like 10 minutes long, um, with commercials, because it's, it's like, I feel like, and from what it appears, this may be their mid-season finale, or like, or one of their season finale episodes, I don't know how, I mean, yeah, okay, like, a normal season for Teen Titans goes like 52 episodes, so this seems to be like, um, a mid-season finale, or close to mid-season finale, or a, or some kind of so, something like that. Um, I mean, it's episode forty, so it's not really mid-season, but it seems to be like a maybe a th three-quarter season finale or something like that, because the next episode isn't coming out till August. Um, not really a good high note to end off with, and really, first off, the episode's like maybe ten minutes at most, and I'm being generous here, ten minutes at most. Really, this should have been like at least half an hour. Like this should have been a spe like they were over hyping this. It was supposed to be like a special event, and we only got really like ten minutes or whatever. Like that's just stupid. Like give us a half hour with actual with some actual face off time, not some bullshit baby face looking Powerpuff Girls crap. And you know Teen Titans Go, Robin doesn't have powers bullshit. Um, don't give us that. Like give us some actual face off where they're actually fighting each other. Make it. You know, make it somewhat interesting. Um, make it seem like Mojo Jojo, Mojo Jojo hypnotized Cyborg and Beast Boy because isn't can't I, I, if I'm not mistaken, but can't he do that? Or doesn't he? Or isn't there a villain who can do that? Or just switch Mojo Jojo with, um, I don't know the 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 I don't know the the Hicks they have uh, the the pink um country Hicks they have in the Powerpuff Girls or some shit like that, or the Red Satan bitch they have. Or something like that. I don't know, but I mean, maybe get a better villain. I mean, I know Mojo Jojo is probably the most iconic Powerpuff Girl um, villain, but get someone who's actually kind of threatening. Because again, Beast Boy could turn into Mojo Jojo if he really wanted to. I mean, get someone who that'd be kind of different. Um, or maybe have someone from the Teen Titans Rogue. I don't know. Get the Hive um, people, I suppose. Um, yeah, or get Ares, I don't know, Raven's father, um, no, that's not Ares, Hades, or whatever his name is, get Raven's father, I don't fucking know, or here, I just thought of it, get Raven's father, which is like the caretaker to hell, and then that one, re um, red villain from, um, the Powerpuff Girls, the red Satan looking bitch, have them make up some planet, and then have the Teen Titans and Powerpuff Girls kind of go at it, um, be at first, realize that they're, that they're two red villains, or, are or, you know, hooking up and about to take over the world and destroy it. And then have them try to destroy the two red villains. I don't I don't know. That sounds better in my opinion. Um, makes more sense. Um, it's not as idiotic. Um, and then have, um, I don't know. And then somewhere as a, um, I don't know, as a cameo Easter egg thing. Have um, Beast Boy turn into Mojo Tojo for like a quick second. I don't know. But yeah, this was a major disappointment, I suppose. But then again, I'm not really a huge fan of the Powerpuff Girls, so can I really call it a disappointment? I don't know. Um, this was bad. Um, 
on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'd give this a 3 out of 10. It's just, bleh. That's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel March signing off.